Hi, welcome to my channel and special greetings to the new subscribers. Let's see if we can make it to 1000 subscribers, guys. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring or insipid. This recipe comes from Andalusia, Spain, and you will be licking your fingers. I have a bunch of rinsed asparagus and I will start breaking them from the tip. Those are organic, by the way, you should hear a snap when you break them. That's an indication that they are really fresh. Once you get to that point, the rubbery part at the bottom is not edible, so it goes into the compost. There you go. I'm adding two large, two large garlic cloves, but you can add up to four small ones if you want to. And if you have seen any of my other videos, you will know that I always remove the germ because that's what gives us halitosis or garlic breath and we don't want to burn anybody's eyelashes. Hit the subscribe button for more recipes and a thumbs up is appreciated. I serve those, with, those asparagus with cod fish but they go well with beef or chicken. I will leave the fish recipe at the end of the video, that's a Portuguese recipe. I also need almonds for the sauce and some day old bread. Later in the video I will show you my two secret ingredients to this sauce that brings it to another level. Trust me, it's really delicious. I want the garlic toasted because it gives it a unique flavor and it also flavors the oil. I am warming the almonds for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. As you can see, they are already toasted, so that is a quick little thing to do. And put them in the same dish with, with the garlic. Then I add a little more oil to the pan. It's been on medium heat all this time. And I'm gonna saute them for only two minutes. I add salt to taste and one teaspoon of cornstarch and I'm gonna cook the cornstarch. Uh, I'm gonna do it for two minutes because I don't want it to taste like raw flour. It just doesn't taste good. So I always cook the cornstarch. Next, I add one cup of vegetable broth. You can use a chicken broth if you have it. And we let it cook for five minutes or so. On another pan, I toast the bread, but if you have room in your kitchen, you can do it in your toaster oven or a toaster. It's not going to make any difference, really. Here comes the interesting part for me. While the bread is toasting and the asparagus are cooking, I'm gonna make a majado or a mash. So I came up with the not so brilliant idea of making it, making it on my garlic chopper. Do it in a, in, on a food processor instead. In any case, this is what you'll need for that. Parsley, the garlic, the almonds, and my two secret ingredients that which are cumin powder and a few saffron strands. That garlic chopper was too small for all the stuff that I needed to put in there, but somehow I thought it was a good idea. And don't forget the toasted bread, salt and pepper to help grind everything. And very important, add some broth from the asparagus as well. I was trying to save time and I ended up having to mash everything on the motor anyways. So. So let me ask you, how do you make your asparagus? What do you put on them? How do you, what do you eat them with? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this recipe? Trust me, make it and it's just really, really delicious. The salt helps uh, grind everything really, really well. That's how the mash has to look and now I'm gonna add it to the asparagus. 
Mix well and cook if the mash absorbs all the broth. Add another cup. There's always a solution for anything or in for everything. Cook for another five minutes until the sauce thickens. See if the if the mash absorbs all the broth, add another cup. Don't worry if the sauce looks too liquid. Once you start to make lines with the cooking spoon on the bottom of the pan, your sauce is ready. Turn off the heat and transfer it to a platter. Buen provecho, enjoy, chaito.